up guys and welcome to my do-it-yourself guide on how to build a Mac Pro. So we stumbled across a nice looking case which is currently a prototype, but we'll start soon on Kickstarter. More information is down below in the description. It's called the Entropy from Bottlenext. This is a cylindrical mini ITX case that fits a lot of components. First of all, I want to mention the components we used here are components that we had lying around in our office. So the PC here is basically made out of spare parts. I linked you a gaming config and a Hackintosh ready config down below, in case if you want to build a Hackintosh or a portable gaming PC like the MSI Vortex. But now, let's get started. In order to build such a PC, you need a mini ITX motherboard plus RAM and CPU. We actually wanted to use a Skylake build, but yeah, we ended up with using an on-port CPU. Also, we have an SFX power supply here from Be Quiet. Then you can use one M2 SSD optional, so if you have a space in the final one or if you have a motherboard that fits that. Then the final version also has two 2.5 inch HDD slots, so um, there's some kind of cage included. But here on this version, which is a prototype early one, there is no HDD cage, so it's just somewhere on the back side. Also you can fit in a dual slot graphic card up to 195mm. So when you buy a graphics card, you need to check out that the length won't exceed 195mm. For instance, even a NVIDIA GTX 1070 fits. CPU coolers have to be low profile, up to 43mm, also linked down below, and a 140mm case fan, so the airflow is actually kinda good, even though the system has only one fan. And for sure, yeah, the case itself, which also includes an external power button and USB hub. But this is not the final one, since the quality is kinda cheap. First of all, let me show you the form factors. There's extended ATX, as you might know, ATX, Micro ATX, Mini ATX or ATX, and even smaller ones like Nano or Pico, but we won't need them. First of all, we tried to fit a Micro ATX board inside, but this is not going to happen, so you need to use Mini ATX. And there are boards for CPU integrated, like we use, because we just need a good looking office PC, or yeah, there are ones with socket for even the newest CPUs, which you can also use for gaming. So depending on how much money you want to spend. So yeah, once you have everything, let's build it. The top of the case can be kinda unscrewed, and in there you will find two screws. You just unscrew them, and then you can slide out the inner tube of the cylindrical outer shell. The case looks very well built, but keep in mind it's a prototype and some things won't be like on the final product. It's available in white and black and yeah, more information as always down below. The first thing I did install was the fan at the top. It's a 140mm fan and we used a Be Quite Silent fan which I really like because it has good airflow and is not noisy. It's a little bit tricky because of the long and very thin screws, but not too hard to do it. Also think they should include a, some kind of wrench for the tiny nuts, because with the fingers it was kind of tricky. After that I did install the SFX power supply from Be Quiet. Here the holes for the screws were a little bit too far away and a little bit too big, but already fixed in the final product. Once the power supply is in, I did install the motherboard. The rubber spacers and bolts were included, but only two, so also the other screws were kinda off, but yeah, it's a prototype, and I fixed the board with basically three screws and a cable tie, but still works fine. There was not too much work on the motherboard, since the CPU and the cooler, everything is integrated. I only had to snap in my 8 gigs of Mac RAM. Also, I was using the onboard GPU, because I just had a NVIDIA GT710 here, and the motherboard only has a slow and small PCIe port. I would need a riser which comes with Amazon next week. Anyway, you can install even a 1070 GTX as long as it won't exceed 195mm of length or a liquid cooler, so be creative. I routed all the cables to the back and just the ATX power cable to the front. I'm using a 2.5 inch hard drive and a SSD all on the back here, since the prototype didn't come with a cage for them, but the final product should include it. Now I did just connect the power button and the USB ports and I was ready to go. I did just put everything back together the opposite way and strapped some of the cables. All in all, a great little case, which yeah, looks very prototypey, but still, um, I think from the form factor and how the cables are managed, it looks better than the Mac Pro. So something I hate about the Mac Pro is definitely the cable management. It kills the nice cylindrical look and here on the Entropy, you just have a small cable tunnel and all cables fit perfectly in here. The cylindrical shape still looks awesome and your cables are managed better. Also you can adjust the airflow by raising the top. 
Now I did install Ubuntu on it and I love a little silent Linux machine. Perfect for office work, maybe as a home streaming device or just for simple coding. Now if you're a total geek, put an Apple sticker on there and install Mac Ubuntu theme and change the icons to Mac icons. Voila, here's your cheap and better looking Mac Pro. I hope you enjoyed our Mac Pro built out of spare parts. Anyway, you can fit everything you want in that case, even Hackintosh hardware. The entropy looks great and I look forward to the final fixed and better mini ITX case. Thanks for watching, leave a like and a comment on what you would put into it and subscribe right now for more. Have a nice day and bye bye.